the municipality of Zetrombos introduced a new traffic signal for cycling. It shows the fastest route to the station across a large intersection. That fastest route can be right around it or left around the junction. This intersection is very busy, not only with motor traffic, but also with people cycling. It is designed with cycleways all around the intersection, as is normal in the Netherlands. But these cycleways are all bi-directional, so if you need to make a left turn, you have two options. From here, you can either go straight first and then left, the ordinary way, or left first and then right, which may seem like riding against traffic. But this riding against traffic is allowed here and many people do it. Of course you can also ride on the usual side of the road, which some people may prefer. But whatever side you ride on, this intersection is easy to cross, even for a small child. And the best thing about it is that the second stage of either turn is coordinated with the first. You do not have to wait a second time. Once again, the intersection is designed in the usual Dutch style with cycleways all around it. But in this particular intersection, several of the approach cycleways and all the crossings are bi-directional. A main cycle route requires going from one far corner to the other. But because of all the bi-directional crossings, you can go there in two ways. Either around the right-hand side or around the left-hand side. But how can you decide which is the faster route, when both of the lights are initially red? This is where the new sign helps you. With two simple arrows it shows you which route is the fastest at that particular moment. Loops in the cycleway detect when there are people cycling. At that moment the sign will give the right information. People instantly adjust their route with this information. They either go straight and then right or right and then left. Even when the lights are both red you know that when you follow the arrow, you will arrive at the far end of the intersection in the quickest possible way. This young man changes his route in the last minute, and that was a good decision. We can follow him all the way and see that the second stage of his turn can indeed be made right after the first. So let's show you how this works from the saddle. The loop detects us and the sign indicates that we should go around the junction via the left hand side. Apparently the traffic signal straight ahead will be the first to get a green light. Indeed it takes only seconds. The second part of the turn is also green and we make the two-stage crossing in a very short time. A second test. We are now directed to the right-hand side of the intersection. Ah, but do we really want to stand behind a stinking scooter? Now that's better. If only we could do that in real life. The first part of our double crossing is easily made. And sure enough, the light for our second crossing is green as well. The second part is therefore also quickly made. So there you have it. Two ways to pass the intersection and a simple signal to indicate which is the fastest. That's what I would call a great innovation.